Paris. And I hate this area so much. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Keith Habersberger and I like to try things. My name is Evan Edinger and this is another episode of British vs. American starring... Bliss? Bliss! <laughs> well, you're starring. You're, it, there's two stars. We're co-stars. And today's episode is about student meal plans in university because I think it's incredibly interesting. We were having a big chat about it and uh, where particularly did you go to university? Kingston University. Kingston University. And if you want a king of a deal, stay tuned to the end of this video because it's sponsored by NordPass. So, uh, without a side, let us talk about some meal plans. So I went to university uh, for my bachelor's in Rowan University, mm -hmm. a big old nothing school in southern New Jersey. And you went to Kingston in South London. Or yes, well, South okay. West London. Honestly, that was a bit controversial because- They don't consider them, they're not really London, are they? <laughs> yeah, it's like, no. sorry. I, I always I'm wanted sorry to say too. London. <laughs> because it sounds cooler London than sorry. But, but it's Surrey, basically. Yeah, I think it's Surrey. All right, and would you describe the, the food that you had That's how I describe the food that I had. The alarms are going off. <laughs> Don't eat this. It was alarming. Okay, uh, you asked me where Kingston was. <laughs> Is everything okay with this car? Did you have a meal plan in Kingston University? Okay, you're gonna have to describe, like explain to me what a meal plan A meal plan, plan, plan meaning that for a certain amount of money per semester, you can get a certain amount of meals no. prepared for you. No. So like when you buy food at university, you just have to keep buying food. Yes, you just have to keep buying food. Yeah, because I, I specifically did, I did look up for the halls, because sometimes mm. I know in Leeds University, my friend went to Leeds, and they would, with their halls, get a certain meal plan. Okay. You could get, you could so go some and, universities have the meal plan. Yes, yes. And you have like a card. Exactly, you have a card. Okay. And it charges the card. That makes me feel better. Ours is, was, is called like self-catering. Uh, okay, we had a self-catering plan as well, but, which is obviously cheaper if you're really, really good at cooking, but if you're a student, who's good at cooking? Yeah, exactly. I didn't know anything about cooking. To put it in perspective, we had a couple different meal plans. There was the all access for the bougie amongst us that would be able to eat as much as possible anytime they want all throughout the semester. That's crazy. Uh, and you also get $100 of like dining dollars and $100 of Rowan bucks. So essentially any meals you want at any of the different cafes yeah. you can have. And then any of the extras can be used around the city of Glassboro. So like, at certain places, yeah. so certain pizza restaurants might accept the Rowan dollars. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that way you can use those and you get a hundred every semester. So that's really nice. So you can actually go out and yeah. have dinner with your friends and stuff. And I believe the, there's a grocery the store that you might have also accepted gro like the bucks oh, for that. Nice. I, I think yeah. they were at least trying to build it out when I was there. So that's nice. Yeah, that's really cool. However, that, that one costs at $2,392 a semester, which is a little bit pricey for, Hang I guess, off. four months. <laughs> What? Yeah. Wait, but I can't think about how much I would spend on, on maybe it would be a lot. However, the plan I went with was yeah. just a little bit cheaper and it's 14 meals per week. So basically two meals a day. Okay, okay. And I, trying to save as much money as possible, would just go for breakfast and eat until I wanted to vomit. And then I'd go for a dinner and eat like eight meat plates yeah, and yeah, just yeah. fill up. And to basically just not have a lunch. You wouldn't yeah, you not just really. eat enough to- And if I was really hungry for lunch, I would stop by one of the other smaller to-go cafes that they offered. Okay, yeah. and get a little sandwich or something. Yes. Well, for instance, we have a Jersey Mike's available, which is a hoagie store. So you can go into like the one area, get some hoagies. Uh, they also have a place that has like Wawa coffee available, which is really nice for students. When you say Wawa coffee, what's different about Wawa coffee? It's the best coffee. <laughs> it's from a Wawa. Not sponsored. <laughs> I wish. Uh, no, but it, we luckily at a lot of universities, not just mine, they integrate in with big brands and it's really exciting. So some oh. have Chick-fil-A. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Or I think our engineering building at Rowan also had Einstein's Bagels, Einstein Bros. It's like a bagel place, oh. which is, you know, very New Jersey of us. Yeah, yeah, you would. So I'm assuming in Kingston, place. you guys had fish and chips. We did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, actually? Oh, what do you mean, actually? As every, in like that was a meal that was available? Every Friday. Fish, fish and chip Friday. Fish and chip Friday. That's right? lovely. That's a thing. That's the most British thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure like the whole the whole way through secondary school, maybe even primary school. Oh, and it just keeps going to university. <laughs> and adulthood. <laughs> it's Friday now. We're going to get some fish. Oh, shall we? Oh, love. It's 5 p.m. on Friday. Time for some fishy chip. So out of curiosity then, talk yes. to me about like just a top three meals that you would have had at university. Okay, okay. Mm. So I was trying to think about this because 
I feel like it was like they had a weekly menu mm -hmm. and it was mainly, so for example, like Mondays would be mainly be curry day. Oh, example. nice. So then every week they'd have like a different curry. And so you would have a meat option mm -hmm. and a vegetarian option. Now, That's good. That's I good. think when I was there, they didn't really have much vegan options. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Makes but sense. I've looked at it, it recently now and they've like tried to say that, mm -hmm. you know, they're trying to opt offer that. Honestly, I can't explain to you like how small this, the area was that we could get food. I, I feel like it was like not much bigger than this bedroom. So was, I've like, been to SOAS University in the UK right. and their little eating hall was a very small hall. It was like a hallway where you could just go in, put yes. things on your little yes. tray and then move on yes. out. So the one it felt the... like elementary school food though. Like as in really small little portion and you can get your tiny little trifle or something and then... Yeah, it wasn't, it's not huge, it's huge portions. But like, yeah, so there was a big area with seating outside, but just the room where you could actually choose foods as in basically because there wasn't any options. We have multiple mess halls, but this is the main one seen from above. And so... Hang on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> essentially, well, what? I'll describe it for you. You go in through this way and on the left, <laughs> that entire area is just the salad bar area. So any type of salad and also it's unlimited size, by the way. Like, if you want to eat some salad, and then you can go over to the all-day breakfast area and have whatever breakfast you want all day. No. Uh, you can make your own waffles or get pancakes. Or, oh my God, if you go before 11 in the morning, there's this incredibly good chef that makes omelets for you. You, you pick whatever toppings you want in the omelet, and he makes you, you a really good omelet. Me. Or you go to the home-cooked meal section, which is a bit over that way, and they'll make you something like meatloaf or, you know, some home-cooked style meal with green no. beans and vegetables. Or you go to the other section in which you can get some sushi uh, and stuff like that. And that's just this mess hall, which is all you can eat. Oh, and then this is the dessert section where you get different types of case and things and giant tubs of ice cream. You can have unlimited ice cream. And that's, you get all of that as long as you stay in the room for one meal. Wait, hang on, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Hang on, that's an interesting thing. As long as you stay in the room. So as someone who only had 14 meals per week, yeah. I would just go for breakfast with mm -hmm. my backpack and my homework. If I didn't have class that day, or at least class in the afternoon, stay, do some work. Lunchtime, my friends. <gasps> yeah. So, but, also, you would totally steal some bananas. You okay, know, just okay. take some bananas in the pockets. Yeah. You're like, what, is, what else am I paying for? But basically they wouldn't let you take did they have takeaway no, boxes? No, you're not allowed all? to take away boxes. Because it's a limited oh. portion, so like you can eat everything here and that's it. Yeah. It was I think it was run by Sodexo at the time. And so if you're an American student, you're like, oh, but it wasn't bad. Oh, For me it was just that. huge portions of like I could choose sushi that day or I had yeah. an omelet like almost every other day. Because I have anxiety. Uh -huh. I used to get sick of like feel sick a lot when I eat. So most uh. of the time I would have like half of my lunch in a takeaway box that I'd got from uni mm -hmm. in my rucksack and I'd like be able to take that throughout the day and then whenever I, I felt better I could eat it. You were paying for it though. <laughs> oh, does it mean, does it, you, does it add it, to your student loan? Yes, it's part of the loans, yeah. Oh, I, I, I couldn't afford, I, it's like 2000 a yeah, semester. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> you, couldn't afford half that. But then that is interesting actually, the fact that, so because we didn't have a meal plan, yeah. obviously we couldn't get a loan for spending money on food. So we just had to buy food. I guess know? that makes sense. And like I said, there are also smaller plans. So you could just go for two or three meals maybe per week, mm -hmm. just to make sure that you're getting that nice meal and then you cook for yourself. Yeah. I think for freshmen and sophomores, it's heavily encouraged you go for the meal plan. So that way you focus more on having fun with your studies and then you learn how to cook, assumably. Right. Having fun with your studies, did you? Yeah. I love to have fun with my studies. My study buddies. <laughs> Having fun, um, studying some math. But yeah, I know that a lot of people, so say if people had like the highest amount of loan and also had to have a job, they generally wouldn't eat in the university because it was too expensive. So uh. they would walk into town and like all pack themselves or pack lunch. The thing about Glassboro, New Jersey, where Rowan is, is there's nothing to do. Oh. It's like absolutely nothing okay. it's like if you made a university surrounded by strip malls if you're in the city i feel like you have more options available like walking wise okay with, okay. with that university you could walk into glassboro but it's one of those where you have to cross a big street uh, sorry a big road that right. is three lanes and also it has a green man you can cross the street but the cars don't give a shit. It's America. They have the right of way at all times, basically. And so even though it says you can oh walk, they can continue God. taking right turns. And so like, it's really not enjoyable to walk wow. anywhere. So basically you're stuck on campus for the most part. Yeah, the canteen looking like that. I mean. Exactly. <laughs> so you need a nice campus and then a canteen. It reminds me more of like, when we go to Westfield or something, like a mall's like- Yeah, I'd say it's pretty mall-y. Like, like and that's just the, the main canteen. 
Like you can use that meal pass also in the prof's place, which was the Jersey Mike subs. There's also a panini press area. So like- Okay, yeah, we did have- Little places around. Did you have, like, so we had like a student union bar that had like little <laughs> panini. Alcohol? <laughs> Yeah, I know. I was thinking no. about this. I was like, when did, did they start serving alcohol at a certain time? Because I'm sure I remember like people with pints at lunchtime. No, really? And I'm like, surely that can't have happened, but I'm sh I really think it did. Uh, we <laughs> obviously didn't have alcohol at all. Oh, because you... <laughs> forgot. Unless you were... So you could drink alcohol at university if you were 21. So then but you like, couldn't what? if you were in a room of anyone else that is under 21. You are kidding So me. if you shared like student accommodation with four people total okay. and three yeah. people were 21 and one person was 20, if anyone is caught with alcohol in that room, you all get written up because it's a, basically Rowan used to be a really party heavy like university back in the day. Oh, I see. And so they went opposite and they went, so they, really tried they tried to make it like dry. However, it just leads to, I think usually when prohibition to, like that happens, it leads to more death and more problems yeah, because people are trying to go around the law and it's stupid. Yeah, I always think because my parents were like, oh, you can drink whenever you want, that like, I was like, oh, I'm not Well, they treated you <laughs> as an adult and so you became more adult-like. I think I've made a video about alcohol in the US and the UK already. If you want, mm -hmm. the, the, it should be up somewhere. So people drank alcohol in the student union, I guess? Yeah, well, yeah, and well, you bought it there and then there was like a little, because it was by, obviously, by the Thames. So there was like a, you could sit out by the river. Wow. And it was really oh, nice. wow, that's quite yeah, nice. Yeah, it was really nice. It was like ducks and things. We could sit out by the road and see the cars zoom past us and wait for them to build a sidewalk so we might walk somewhere someday. See if, anyone gets if you had a car, which in America, every student mm -hmm. mostly had a car, you could drive to Philadelphia if you wanted to die. That was yeah. right down the road, like good 30 minutes. Yeah, that would be. That would be ridiculous to go there for like lunch or something. Did oh, absolutely. That? You'd have to pay for parking. You'd have to, <laughs> oh, just that alone. I'm done. Yeah. Like, no, 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 no. So you'd mostly stay in the South Jersey area. So you, you got fish and chips, but okay, I want to know some juicy deets. We've got curries. We've got Mexican, which I think was not just- Not real Mexican. <laughs> um, I do not trust British people. I know, I don't think it was. I, I think it was our version of Enchiladas. We had a lot of enchiladas Ooh. and like a spicy rice. Spicy rice. <laughs> so it's basically like Nando's na Monday. <laughs> Actually, yeah, a lot of um, chicken legs. <laughs> chicken legs, I don't know why I said it like that. Chicken legs in like a spicy spice. Spicy spice? Always like a, always like a side salad you could get, but literally lettuce, cucumber, and tomato. So like so when you go to get a curry and they give you that little bag of lettuce, <laughs> and you're my like, delicious. <laughs> Oh yeah, I've never used that. I just don't know what it's that's like for. It's like the fresh little crunch. It's like, like oh, I'm healthy. <laughs> I have this one so lettuce funny. leaf <laughs> um, and one lechuga. Okay, and then you'd always be able to get like a side of chips. Okay, yeah. I'm oh, I forgot about the other section of the canteen where you could get access to American fast food, basically, in terms of the amount of fries, yeah. hamburgers, hot dogs, and grilled cheese. So if you don't want any of the other fancy oh, stuff, wow. you can always get grilled cheese, hot dogs, hamburgers, oh, the most crazy. American thing you can think of. It's so bizarre to me, the idea of a student union without a bar. Like, did you have a bar, but it just sold There's like drinks. a breakfast bar you can stand behind and <laughs> be depressed. So weird. So I know in SOAS and a lot of the central London okay. universities, basically the Harry Krishnas have like a soup kitchen style thing where they're giving away food and sandwiches oh. to anyone and then they go Hare Krishna. And so the students just go there and get loads of free delicious dolls oh, and lentils and curries. Amazing. Okay, we didn't have lines. Like, like if you're a student and someone says free dot 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 food, I don't care, give exactly, it to me. Exactly, exactly. Sometimes it's like, oh, I don't have enough money to get extra vegetables, which is not a nice feeling. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's pretty fair though, right? It makes sense. And then, oh, at the end of the day, they'd come round with a tray into the library uh -huh. and they'd have all like the reduced stuff um, that was like gonna be going off the next day and then they'd just give it away for free, like sandwiches and stuff. In the US, they'd throw it away because that way oh. they could, it's oh. like supply and demand and they're like, oh, um, we don't want anyone to get sick if this is slightly off, as yeah. opposed to, you just don't want people to get free food. Yeah, exactly. Want to see your favorite sandwich. Give me a second, oh, you been And this was available at your school? Yes. University. Um, it was by Urban Eat Room. Urban Eats, as in like when you go to a train station and there's one of those like corner st Yes. They're like the most overpriced sandwiches. Yes, that's what they had. That's the only, pretty much the only option. That's a crime. <laughs> Isn't it? At least give you some cheap meal deal type thing. <laughs> yes, I know, it was bad. Those it are like expensive. four pound 50 mm -hmm. for the just ham. And you're like, I hate this. So you basically have pre-packaged sandwiches yes. for your meal deal. So ours were like handmade 
sandwiches. At the other campus they did. Oh, engineers get, they have more money. Yeah. Arts, they're like, you guys make up your imagination. Imagine this is delicious. You don't buy a meal plan. Can mm. you go in and buy those, everything in Yes, but they're quite expensive. Okay. I'd say it was, at the time, I think it was like seven pound 80 per meal. Right, okay. Which I assume just to inflation after what, 10 years it's been. Uh, it's probably over ten, eleven dollars. Oh, interesting. Because I was reading that the Kingston like magazine, mm -hmm. the little university magazine, did like uh, this study, and they looked at all the pricing of um, canteen food in all of London, yeah. and found that Kingston was actually joint la like joint last. Cheapest? Oh, okay, cheapest. cheapest. That's great. Sorry. Um, so at four pound fifty for a hot meal. That's great. Which, which is funny because then there was like quotes from students being like, oh, I thought that this was really expensive and I didn't realize that this was actually cheap. <laughs> and then people being like, oh, when I get a pot of pasta, they only they don't even fill it up to like two thirds. So that's why it's <laughs> four pound 50. <laughs> um, and apparently, yeah. And ours was the... seven pound 80 for all you can eat. Right. <laughs> is yours open? Oh to the no, public? you've got to have the Rowan University, like you have to be a student to eat there. Yeah, we could, Open to the public. Yeah, we could pretty much, you could go into any university building, including the canteen and just, yeah, if you were from the public and just anyone could eat there. I just can't imagine someone from the public going into okay. Rowan and going, I want to be here. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I want to eat here with these kids. I remember like the desserts were, I, from what I can remember, was just like either a flapjack, a little brownie bar, a shortbread, and that's kind of. Like I said, ours was unlimited ice cream and waffles. I so. just kind of, what is this just insane? <laughs> you know what? One thing students really don't appreciate mm -hmm. is good online security. That's right, we've segued. Can you believe a lot of people use the same password across multiple websites? How many times have you been told from that website that someone has hacked your, like your number has been released onto the dark net? Yes, as many a time. Honestly, I just had one like this week from a website I signed up for in 2012. They got hacked, there goes my freaking password that thankfully I only used for my PayPal. <laughs> Thankfully, if you use a service like nordpass.com slash Evan, actually they're just called Nordpass, but I'm just throwing the link in there. You can have one site, one app that keeps track of all your passwords. So that way you don't have to worry about one of these sites giving away your information and then boom, there goes your bank information. Not anymore. With Nordpass, you can store all your passwords in one place. No need to memorize them all. You can access all your logins with a single master password. And you can log in faster with Nordpass's autofill feature and generate your own secure passwords better than just using your first name or your favorite dog. Lastly, I mean, Nordpass is a zero knowledge password manager, meaning that no one else except for you can see what's in your encrypted vault. And as we all know, Christmas is coming slash is here slash has passed, when am I uploading this video? <laughs> Doesn't matter if you've been naughty or nice, you can still get 70% off your NordPass plan at nordpass.com slash Evan or use code Evan at checkout. Get yourself a big discount, protect your online security, and if you've had a delicious meal with us talking about this, please leave us a comment in the description. I don't know how you got access to the description, probably because I wasn't using NordPass. <laughs> But uh, leave, leave me a comment below if you had a different style meal plan or different types of food in the US and the UK and let's have a lovely conversation with the community. Thank you so much, Bliss, for coming on. Thank you. Pat. And if you'd like, I've got more content for you. See you on the next one, wherever I may be. Goodbye. Bye. Subscribe. <gasps> Subscribe. I might have a house soon. Let's pray.